I can't believe it's almost been a whole month since I released my first ever collection of paintings on wood and amazingly over half of them have sold already which is crazy it is thank you so much to everybody who has ordered one um, I need to restock a little bit and I thought it was time to paint some more on wood this time I'm painting on eucalyptus and I I have changed the way that I treat the wood a little bit and it means that the wood slices are a lot more vibrant and have a lot more of the pattern showing through the wood. I think they look really really lovely so you'll see more of that in the rest of this video. First I'm going to do some quick sketches because I'm really really bad at sketching and I just wanted to practice a little bit. Um, I don't know, <laughs> they're terrible, don't judge me. <laughs> working in my new studio space that I have kind of made over, reorganized, maybe cut my desk down and it's a little bit smaller but it means that I've got more storage space and it's just like prettier to work in. So if you haven't already seen the makeover video, go ahead and watch that. I'll put a little thing on the screen so you can click on it if you like. I don't want to talk over the whole video because that might be a little bit annoying for some people but I did want to just quickly say if you have any suggestions for things you would like to see me paint on wood let me know in the comments below and I'm just gonna pop in and out of this video so I'll be back in a little minute
really trying to incorporate more into my paintings is an element of playfulness. Someone, one of my customers actually, recently mentioned that they loved the playfulness of my artworks and it's really not something that I ever thought about or did intentionally. I just kind of, I don't know, made it happen somehow. So I'm trying to actively think about it a little bit more. I don't want to think about it too much and like jinx it. So I'm just keeping it in mind when I'm painting. I don't know, do you think my artworks are playful? I, I'm, it's, it's honestly not something I've ever thought about. I just love to create fun and colorful things. So I don't know, I guess fun and playful are kind of the same thing. But yeah, it's hard because I'm also wanting to create pieces that are beautiful and I feel as though maybe beautiful and playful, do they go together? I don't really know if they do, but I'm trying to find a way to blend the two and I think it's working. I don't know. I'm having fun at least, so that's the most important thing, right? A side note, I have been getting loads and loads of messages and comments on my Instagram asking me what type of pastel I use, what brands of pastel I use, and I know this is an Instagram, but maybe I can direct people to this video. Uh, I use Soft Pastel and I predominantly use the brand Unison. Um, I also use a cheaper brand called Jaxel and I think that it is pretty good quality for the price um, but in my opinion Unison are the best soft pastels that I've ever tried and maybe there are some other good ones out there that I haven't tried yet but Unison are super buttery and smooth and they work really well with my technique of using water to blend so yeah I'm happy with Unison and hopefully that answers some people's questions This piece of eucalyptus uh, was my absolute favorite. I think that markings are gorgeous. And for that reason, I did feel a little bit of pressure when I was trying to come up with what I was gonna paint on it. I think I redrew about three or four different designs. And I finally came up with this one of this little splendid fairy wren. Um, I've also decided after painting this that um, blue things like blue the color blue on wood seems to just work so well I feel as though a lot of birds are kind of like brown and red and yellow and it looks great but in my opinion I don't know the blue just is so stunning on the wood it just I guess it's the contrast it's like some color theory some natural color theory at play uh, but yeah, I don't know. What do you think? The blue to me just stands out so much and I had so much fun creating this piece after I managed to get past the initial nerves, of course.
also spent some time honing the varnishing process for these wood paintings so it definitely feels a lot um, easier and I like I know that it's gonna work every time now before it was a bit maybe like tenuous I wasn't sure if it was gonna smudge if it was gonna work but now I am 100% certain that it is gonna work every time so that is a good thing I've spent a lot of time trying different things, messing up different things, and I'm really happy with how this process works, and I love the look of them in general. And I'm about to share the final pieces with you, but first, let's cut some flowers. Thanks so much for watching this video and I hope that you will join me for another one very soon. Bye!